Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to this Mantis 300 PS3 racket review. As you might know I like to highlight a bit smaller brands sometimes to give you a bit more uh, variety, a bit more you know options out there to find the racket that works for you. This is a racket, the Mantis 300 that uh, won Best Value for Money Award by Tennis Head Magazine in the Advanced Player category in 2011 and 2015. I was sent this demo uh, by All Things Tennis, who has helped me get some racket, uh, for rackets for review. I uh, really appreciate that. If you use the code TENNISNERD, you get 5% um, off your racket purchase and you get a free streaming as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, this racket is pretty low price, it's below 100 pounds, so I think he was listing it at 95 pounds. And you can be a bit uh, confused when you see that price point compared to how expensive rackets are these days, around like 200, 250 po uh, pounds and euros. Uh, you see for new rackets, which is quite expensive, especially considering that if you're an advanced player or a player who, who wants to play tournaments, you might need at least two or three or four or more. So it's nice to see models and brands that are not breaking everyone's wallet. So uh, this racket, no frills, 16-19 string pattern, uh, high quality, high modulus carbon, uh, 100 square inches, as I said, 32 centimeter balance, unstrung, very much similar to Aero or Pure Drive or Burn specs from other brands. Uh, it's one of those kind of game improvement frames, usually used to be called tweeners. And uh, nowadays they've become kind of the norm, at least among club players. And um, this one is uh, good for spin, obviously, and some free power. What uh, makes a lot of players happy is when they see the stiffness rating, which is 70 unstrung. So when you add strings, the stiffness rating drops about 3 points to 67, which is uh, similar to actually the first edition of the Pure Drive. Uh, the Pure Drive original from 97 or so and uh, that's uh, more comfortable than the rackets these days in this category because they, they go up to around 70, 71, up to uh, 73, 74 in stiffness and that's a pretty stiff frame that might uh, risk uh, getting you giving you a tennis elbow. It all depends on what kind of dampening and technology is in the racket. This racket doesn't come with a lot of fancy technology. Uh, I can read what uh, the Mantis uh, R&D department were giving a significant challenge to try and improve this latest racket even further. In order to achieve this aim, we conducted intensive testing to provide a racket with a softer feel at ball contact and just a little extra power by increasing the swing weight while still maintaining its excellent balance. In addition, it was also a key objective to maintain the excellent racket feedback that a player experiences when using any Mantis frame. Obviously, this is marketing lingo, uh, but you know that this superb blend was achieved by adjusting the frame layup, how the racket is constructed and where the carbon fiber is strategically positioned. So this frame uh, doesn't come with some uh, technology lingo uh, that other frames usually do. Um, obviously, sometimes technologies work, sometimes they don't. They are a marketing tool uh, to sell more rackets. We all know that. So. Um, so I guess you can say it's kind of refreshing to have this um, lingo free, just uh, high modulus carbon racket ready to go and uh, no thinking about what technology and dampening is involved. It's pretty comfortable I would say, I don't sense any discomfort on the arm. Uh, felt pretty connected uh, to the ball as well since there aren't any dampening technologies involved, instead they've just lowered the stiffness. It is not as pow powerful as a pure drive for example, uh, so if you like a bit more control from your tweener style racket, this racket could definitely be on the consideration list I feel. Uh, definitely overlooked uh, as a brand for sure. Uh, so, uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, it's nothing I'll switch to. Uh, I didn't uh, find it better than my soft drive, for example. I didn't find it worse than uh, many other rackets out on the market, like a Pure Drive or a um, Pure Aero or a Wilson Ultra 100. Uh, I wouldn't say, I mean, it's a bit less powerful, but for my game, that works. If you're looking for max power, uh, obviously, this frame might be a little bit low powered. Uh, I, um, I felt like it had a pretty good feel instead, which uh, to me uh, makes more sense, but for some players might uh, be a little bit low powered. So if power is in s and spin is, is what you're looking for, uh, this m might not be the racket for you, but if you're looking for a 100 square inch racket that is pretty comfortable, 
offers uh, decent control and uh, decent power and spin levels just an average solid performer the mantis 300 is a good option i would say and at the price point it's uh, quite nice as well so there's it's everything there to be a really solid performer and um, i'm just happy to see uh, smaller brands come up with the goods and uh, show that there are good rackets out there uh, also at a lower price point so definitely worth considering uh, obviously they don't have the marketing budget of uh, brands like Babolat with Rafa or Wilson with all their players uh, or head for example to uh, to be able to sell rackets at that um, that quantity uh, but the quality is definitely uh, as good as, as these brands that's what I would say after this experience I've, I've tried two Mantis rackets now the 310 and the 300 and they were both positive experiences and uh, at a far lower price point so uh, a good uh, budget friendly option to consider check it out if you're looking for something that's not too stiff but will give you some free power and spin then this mantis 300 could be interesting have a nice day everyone don't forget to play some tennis and see you soon Yeah. <laughs>